Good evening, everyone. My name's Charles Fernandez, and welcome to another episode of, you know, me just making stuff. I'm going to pick up where I left off. I'm probably not going to give everyone the, you know, standard spiel. If anybody has any questions about what I'm doing, feel free to ask. I'm just going to dive in. Uh, it's a little later than I would like, so I want to try and focus on getting some stuff done, unless someone wants to uh, start chatting. So, here we go. Hey, how's it going, creator man? You are most welcome, and thanks for watching. So I guess you're uh, caught up in the quarantine, huh? Let's see, where was I? Oof. That's rough. That's rough. But, um... Uh, unless they extend it, it's not actually that long. Um... Just do your best. I know it's... It's a hard thing to do when there's nothing going on. <sighs> Start. So do you have anything at all to help you keep busy? Creator demands 
Yep. What just happened there? Yeah, it's just something that I added. I figured um, that might actually help me uh, because when I'm working, I'm just working off of my Cintiq. Uh, so I don't notice when somebody messages me right away. So um, that's an option that I didn't realize I had. So I turned it on in my... Um, in my uh, stream chat program that I've got. I'm using um, Restream Chat. Yeah, it's really helpful because, like I said, I, I will go through an entire, you know, couple hours worth of work and not realize that people have been trying to talk to me, so <laughs> it's helpful. Hmm. That's weird. That should work. Don't know why it's not. Oh well. Ah. Hmm. All right, looks like I have a little more separation to do.
Wait. Oh, also, uh, as far as uh, new things that I didn't realize were things, uh, this Muse Open Radio thing that I've been using, I have multiple channels to choose from. I didn't realize that either. I thought it was just like, listen to whatever they play for you, but apparently there are a variety of um, niche programming uh, options. In case uh, we get bored with whatever's playing, we can switch to something else. Hmm. Uh, I listen to a pretty wide variety of music. I'll listen to, um, anything from, like, classic rock, uh, hip-hop, R&B, classical, um, like, modern music composers, uh, jazz, like, all kinds of stuff, like, blues, um... Even bluegrass. Uh, there's a um, there's an interesting band that I heard on NPR. Um, it's all bluegrass music, but it's by like virtuoso classical uh, string uh, instrument players. Um, it's called the Goat Rodeo Sessions. Like Yo Yo Ma is in it, so it's it's really interesting. But yeah, I like, um, let's see, I like oldies from the 50s and 60s, I like uh, 80s, uh, some 90s, um, even some, some modern music, which, you know, a lot of it I'm not particularly impressed by, but some of it I am. I like, um, I like Broadway too, so like Hamilton, Phantom of the Opera, uh, greatest Showman, like, I like a lot, like, there's, like, there are very few genres that I generally don't like, like, there, and even in those, there are probably songs that, that I will enjoy, depending on the song. What about you, creator man? What kind of music do you listen to? Let's see. Like, give me some, give me some examples. Like, what artists? 
because I hear electric and the first thing I think of is Daft Punk, but I know that they're not necessarily rap. They're like cyberpunk. Gotcha. Where did you go? Um, hello? Hold on. Okay. Weird.
There we go. Okay. I guess that's the maximum limit of what it can do.
Let's try this. Let me save before I get any more of those. like this is what needs to come up as opposed to the other way around. If that's the case, then some other stuff can come up as well. Water has got a decent amount of detail. There we go. Oh, 
hello. Uh, I don't think we've met. My name's Charlie. Nice to meet you, R. Uh, I'm not currently using Maya, but I will be using it later on in... Um, uh, let's see. I first started using Maya in... 2000. So, it's been a long time. Um, yeah, 20 years. <laughs> I started using Maya back when it was Maya 2.5, and it was owned by Alias Wavefront before Autodesk bought it. That's helpful. That will really help to separate that from the back water. So bring this closer to the front. <laughs> Cool. Uh, I'm probably going to wrap up soon, but um, I I expect, let's see, I don't even know what the time difference is in the UK. Uh, I'm currently on the east coast of the United States, uh, and here I got started at around 9 o'clock, and it's almost 10 now. Um, oh, uh, I am making the cross guard for katana blade uh, I am uh, let's see if I can find some samples but anyway this is the kind of what it looks like illustrated this is the illustration I started with yep Alright, so, uh, as an example, so this is going to be for a 3D model of a katana blade that I started, like I had done it a long time ago, and I'm in the process of like taking another look at it and giving it an upgrade, like tweaking some of the geometry, but mostly improving the textures. I finished the blade uh, a while back. Uh, I have some examples of that uh, in my in other videos that I've posted but uh, right now I'm focused on the cross guard and the Japanese word for it I think is tsuba T-S-U-B-A I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly but Yay! <laughs> okay, so as an example, these are some of the uh, some of the things that I came across in my research. Like just looking at the detail on some real world antique cross guards, I just really wanted to go in and create something that had that level of of artistry. So I came up with my own design, uh, and I'm going to be using multiple materials, 
Yeah. Like, I'm... I just... I love all of these, and I have to warn myself to stop looking at all of them, because I'll just travel down a rabbit hole of awesomeness. <laughs> like, these are all... Honestly, Creator Man, I have no earthly idea. Um, I know that you and um, and Crankbait have been watching me, like, a little bit at a time on this cross guard for God only knows how long. But um, the funny thing is, for me, for this particular project, it doesn't really matter how long it'll take. Now, if I was working on a on a commission, or if I was working on something for my, the, if I was working on something for the, um, for my job, and it's time critical, then I would probably rush it. Uh, but since this is a personal project, and I, I want to do it so that I can post up the final product on ArtStation, I want to take the time to make sure that I, I do it exactly the way that I want it. Uh, and I want to make a high-resolution, beautiful image of the finished model once it's finished. The geometry itself is relatively simple, but the the textures... Oh, um... Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I design monster trucks for a living. I work for a company called Feld Entertainment Studios, and they own Monster Jam. Uh, so, my boss gives me concept art, or he gives me an idea, uh, and my job is to create a 3D model that fits on one of their chassis. And, uh, and so that's that's basically my job. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if I were to ten, tell a 10-year-old me what I did for a living, he would never stop screaming. So, <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. I, I, I love what I do. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. All right, so... I'm going to put this away because I, I could just look at these all day. That's not what we're here for. So, I drew this out uh, because I've got... <laughs> All right, so uh, you have an idea for a 3D game. You and your friends are working on it. Suggestions for modeling. Just starting off. Okay. So this is... I'll say that Crankbait is... I know he's not here right now. But he's going in the right direction as someone who's just starting out. If you want to learn 3D, yeah, um, I wanted to uh, I wanted to showcase the artwork, so me is not as important. So that's why I made it tiny. Like how how large is this? What are you watching on? Are you watching on a phone? Are you watching on your computer or what? Okay, so back to Creator Man. Uh, if you are looking to to learn 3D or start getting into 3D, um, I would actually recommend starting with Blender because it's free. It's not my favorite 3D program. I much prefer Maya, but Maya is expensive. It's expensive as hell. 
Uh, and if you're just starting out, free is the way to go. Uh, a lot of the principles that you would learn in Blender will carry over to other 3D applications that you can use uh, you know, once you have developed your skill to the point where you can really tackle something a little bigger, a little stronger as far as um, as far as uh, 3D modeling is concerned. Blender is a good starting point, and it all it also has a really really good renderer. Cycles render is fantastic, and honestly, like I'm I'm more of a modeler, and I'm not so much a a renderer. Like getting to the point where it's you know photo real and beautifully you know rendered and everything for me that that is not my strong suit but in order to be a well-rounded 3d artist it's something that you have to learn with blender it's a lot easier to come up with some fantastic with results when you're using cycles render as opposed to using uh you know arnold maya's arnold now i will say this if you're going to get into 3D gaming, Blender is good, but do not, I stress, do not use cycles rendering. Uh, don't use, uh, when, you're, when you're assigning materials to things, to an object to give it that like metal sheen, or if you want to make it feel like fabric, don't use cycles rendering materials, because when you export your model, into Unity or some other gaming platform, if you like export it as an FBX or an OBJ, the textures won't carry over. It'll just be a white model, and you have to plug everything back in, uh, you know, manually. Which, depending on how complicated your scene is, that's a pain in the ass. Don't do it. Uh, so that's definitely something that you're going to want to look into doing before you start modeling, before you start, uh, you know, setting up your material, you're going to want to look up um, Blender to whatever gaming development package that you're using. Look up how did uh, the Blender to gaming package workflow so that, like, you can look at some tutorials on how they take the models that they create in Blender and transfer them into uh your gaming environment. Otherwise you'll have to end up doing a lot of work more than once and that's that's no fun. Repeating yourself is is not not something that uh, that is helpful. It's frustrating. Actually, that actually really makes sense to do it that way. Alright, that's what I'll do. You're welcome. If you have any other questions, just ask. So R, you said you're from the UK. What uh, what part of the UK you're from? Creator Man six one one one. I've got to go. Hope you have a great day. Thanks, Creator Man. You too. 
take care and hang in there. Uh, the 27th isn't too far away, and as long as they don't expand uh, the uh, the stay at home and shelter, you're you'll be fine. So just keep yourself busy. Don't go stir crazy. All right. Have a good night. Let me just get started on this. Otherwise, I will be here forever.
All right, so our, if you're still watching, this was the point of all this. Let's see. Let's do it. Oh, you know what? Oh, thanks, Really Thick Biscuit. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, unfortunately, you're catching me at the tail end here. I was about to wrap it up for the evening. But uh, I can show you what I've been working on and um, why I've been working on it. Uh, 
so let's do this real quick. That's off. All right. Merge layer. Uh, well, I've been using Photoshop. Uh, I start off with a pencil drawing. Let's see. This is the drawing that I started off with. And then I use a, um, a Cintiq, uh, as well as Photoshop, to just um, create a grayscale image. Uh, if you take a look at some of the other videos that I've put up, uh, you, should, you can see the whole process. I work really, really slowly, so you might just want to, you know, catch the highlights. I don't really make highlights, but like just uh, go through the general playlist and see like, no, oh, I see where he's at now. I see where he's at. It's just, it's a lot to explain really quickly. But um, what I'm doing is I'm creating a normal map that uh, I will be using for uh, application on a 3D model. So now we generate normal map so that everybody can see what the end result is. Okay. Oh, maybe I should not have inverted the height. Yeah, let's not invert the height. Delete that. Z. Why does that look... That's weird. Hold on. Okay, now that looks normal. I don't know why why it uh, looked inverted last time. But uh, what this does is it, uh, this filter takes grayscale images and uh, kind of brings them out, pops them out into a three-dimensional relief. And so this is what I've been up to. So once this is completed, I'm going to apply this to, I'll be applying this to uh, a 3D model that I created uh, of a katana blade, and this will be going on the cross guard. All right, so um, uh, I, I hate to cut you off like this because I know we just met. Um, only in 3D. Uh, I don't, I make a lot of different things. I don't specialize in weapons, but that, that's something that I am currently working on as a personal project. It just, it's, um, it's 10 o'clock in the evening here. I'm not sure where you're at, but for me, it's a little late. Uh, I have a 9 to 5 that I have to go to in the morning, uh, so I'm going to have to get to sleep, but thank you very much for watching, and really think, B Biscuit, it is a pleasure meeting you, and I'm looking forward to doing, doing more broadcasts. Uh, so, uh, let's see. I had been doing it semi-regularly like Tuesdays and Thursdays. However, with the quarantine in place for a lot of people, um, and a lot of people uh, just bored looking for something to keep them occupied, I'll be broadcasting a little more regularly. I'm not sure how regularly. I'm probably not going to be able to promise every day, but I'll be on here uh, on the evenings a little more regularly than I have been. 
So feel free to like, subscribe, uh, do all of the uh, the things that the YouTubers tell you to do at the end of a broadcast. But um, but yeah, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice evening and and all that good stuff and stay safe out there. So. May the force be with you.